a little bit of youth, and we talk about the freshman class. There's a five-star, Caleb Houston, 11 points and six rebounds in his debut against Buffalo. Jawar matchup zone. Good ball movement by Michigan to get a quick shot. And there's the first hit there for Hunter Dickinson, who fittingly gets the first points tonight for Michigan. It looks like they're going man-to-man -man now on the out-of-bounds play. You see Jawan Howard, we talked about homecomings with his players. This is really a homecoming for him as well. Beating the presser, how about the three-point shot by Hunter Dickinson? Talk now, particularly with a terrific point guard transfer of Devontae Jones. Oh, an excellent penetrator. Oh, three possessions, three buckets with the flush by the big man. Get guys involved, let them play against this uh, step up in talent and caliber. About 17 minutes left to play, and there's the first bucket, makes it 8-2. to two. Michigan over Prairie View A&M here so far. Offensive possession here for the Panthers. Jogs to the shovel pass to Houston, and there's the three-point shot he was looking for. The floater <laughs> is good. Fate Williams, a one-time walk-on who's Prairie View a and Prairie View a and with a 2-2-1 full court pressure. Michigan just in a blink of an eye beat Eli Brooks taking it all the way. Passing the score. Four of the five st starters have scored now for Michigan, and that was a beautiful shot that time. And took his and hit his first attempt here tonight. Houston from three from up top. Diabate gets the offensive rebound. He's going to be another exciting freshman to watch. Another five star that Joan Howard has on this roster. And the turnaround won't fall. Dickinson with another rebound. He's got five here in the game. Shuffle pass this time to Parks for three. He sizes it up from distance. Hey boy, he's got the ball there in the corner. Coming off a career high against Buffalo. Look out, it's the alley-oop and it rims out. The Abate could have put it through and the second opportunity is good for Houston. Looking for his first points for the leading score for Prairie View A&M. But you saw Prairie View's offense penetrate and kick. Ooh, easy money that time for Caleb. Houston from three. A lot of doubles down low. It gives Dickinson and Diabate an opportunity to work on the paint. There's the save and an opportunity for Daniels, the one-handed hammer on the transition. Until tonight. He's a guy who, an who entered the transfer portal, then withdrew his name. Wanted to keep playing here for this program, and Byron Smith and try to do some special things. There's a turnaround. Well, that's, uh, that's quite an accomplishment. Daniels is 0 for 3 from 3, so he'll take it inside that time. The little floater falls for him. Being to play in this event, he said it was a no-brainer to play on a neutral site. Against an HBCU team, Prairie View a and There's the tip from Terrence Williams, the second. Blocking out on the offensive glass. A second chance opportunity. It's a 10 to 2 advantage right now for Michigan in that category. Dickinson didn't even see from behind. It's Gambrel Jr. Shovel pass and a transition to generated four points off of those turnovers. Dickinson again in the mid post. He's got that size advantage and finds Jones, a cutting Jones down the lane. The tallest player on the court at 7 1 pulls down yet another rebound and a transition to and Jones again going to work. Seven rebounds at Coastal Carolina last year. Pull up from mid-range, that soft touch. Houston, Texas. Second year of transfer on Stephen F. Austin Jones, my goodness. He's got a quick seven points here for the Wolverine. Tonight. Dickinson with the putback for two. Dickinson. Taps it over to Brooks on the push. Here's Jones over to Dickinson, and he's got just a three black jerseys around him, and suddenly, and still he found the bucket. Rotate, uh, a lot of subs here tonight. Open look for Douglas, and he knocks down the three-point shot. Some of the mistakes made. This is what happened against a, a team that's decidedly a step up. The last team they played, Buffalo. In the second half, they lost their intensity, Michigan did. Didn't come out with the fire. A team like Michigan has to work on. Here they go again. Another turnover. Some of the subs in a Euro step. Diapate, not tonight. He's 
ready. He's got it lined up. And pow. Pow. <laughs> Did I say it again? 21 point advantage. And Diabate wanted another. That time it was Will Douglas who, who knew he was hawking his shot. Fitness panel going on this weekend, creating a positive sports environment for all the players, talking about mental health as well. So a lot of things going on in the D.C. area besides basketball. The good start out of the gate, says Dwayne Cox gets the jumper to fall and back the other way. It's Houston with the answer. Climb against the Wolverine team, ranked sixth in the country here this year. On the transition, Houston pulls, fires, hits from the corner. Dickinson comes up and kicks it over to Eli Brooks for three. Michigan going back to back for distance. Tempo even more. It's short that time for Jones. Oh, the push. Gambro count the bucket. You know, he has fresh guys out there as they continue to pressure. Scramble. And Dickinson kicks it out to Brooks. That time from the other corner. Rough night. He was just with five points here tonight. Johns Jr. takes the contact. Body bucket and one. Utilizing the, the game of basketball as a platform is, is a terrific idea because of the commonality of, of the game itself, not only domestically but internationally. Oh, for sure. Robert's trying to go one on one, and it's ripped away that time. Diabate pops it back up. Will Douglas on the transition. The out of the oop. And a spectacular finish by Jawan Daniel. Something. Working it around. Buffkit. Working his way. A little finger roll finish for the freshman. What's impressed you the most as Jones goes inside? Gets his own miss. On the transition, here's Douglas. Oof are things that you were going to look out for on the Wolverine side going into this game? Well, certainly, as I said, it's been the spacing, you know, the ability to get the ball inside to Hunter Dickinson, and also the ability to read the defenses. And there have been some spots where Prairie View has looked extremely, uh, extremely good. And then there are other areas where, obviously, Michigan's talent has a potential. As a sleeper? Yeah. Tom Izzo has uh, that reputation, right, to, to get things done and make BCU educated. Mm -hmm. and, and so being a part of this game, the inaugural Coaches versus Races and Round Ball Classic was particularly important for him. That's a long two and an honor for the Big Ten Network to be able to showcase this first time event. And our thanks again to founder and executive director, Darrell Woods, and out from here. Wolverines will improve to two and up. between the two head coaches in this inaugural event.